Happy Saturday. The time is 10:15. We're off to a warm and kind of muggy weekend. It's going to be windy today and tomorrow as well. And the warm and humid weather is here to stay from now until next week. So really no changes there. And welcome to almost the beginning of May. And that's what we have warm and humid weather here to stay with us. Getting into this weekend we will trend mostly dry, which is good news. A lot of stuff happening outside. Of course, there are classic jazz fest. Next chance for some showers and storms does come in Monday and Tuesday, but we're tracking maybe a small chance for a shower tomorrow. Right now temperatures in the upper 70s and at 80 degrees at the lakefront and at the airport in Kenner. We were just talking about our dew points in the upper 60s, so it feels humid outside. So our heat index coming into play right now. Temperatures feeling like 83 in Kenner and at the lakefront, so three degrees higher than the actual temperature really across the entire area. We're tacking on a bit of a heat index, so it is going to feel a few degrees warmer than what the actual air temperature says today, and we'll probably get to the middle 80s for our afternoon high temperature. So it is going to be hot and pretty humid and also windy, which is kind of good with the windy weather. I know it's not great for festivities outside, but it kind of helps makes th makes shakes things up and it doesn't feel as kind of stagnant outside, but it will be windy today and tomorrow. We're talking southeasterly winds all day today and for your Sunday sustained winds up to maybe 15 to 20 miles per hour at times. Also with the sunshine mixed in with the cloud cover, we're still talking a very high UV index for your Saturday. Make sure you wear that sunscreen, the sunglasses and the hats. Definitely a must today. Stay hydrated too, since it will be hot and we're getting into that hot time of the year. Only going to go up from here and get worse, of course. Right now, here's a look at those winds across the area. Sustained at 20 miles per hour at the airport in Kenner, gusting up to 26 miles per hour. 29 mile per hour gusts in Gulfport, so it's going to be a breezy day today for sure. There's actually a wind advisory in effect until 9 o'clock today because of those wind gusts getting near and maybe even above 30 miles per hour at times. And with the onshore wind pattern today and tomorrow, southeasterly winds can give us the chance to see some minor coastal flooding for South Mississippi and southeastern Louisiana right along our lakefronts that are south facing and eastward facing today and tomorrow during the high tide, but not a huge concern. Just that minor coastal flooding we see when we see a sustained southeast wind gust today can get above 30 miles per hour breezy even during the evening hours, just not quite as windy getting into the overnight and then tomorrow much of the same wind gusts get above 30 miles per hour at times tomorrow afternoon and we'll stay breezy into Monday. I'm sure you probably heard about yesterday's crazy severe weather outbreak across the central and southern plains. They have another round of that today and tomorrow as two areas of low pressure right in line with each other. This was the one that brought all the stuff yesterday darting off to the northeast now and then another one forming right behind it. That is what we're going to be watching for us. Good news is all of the really uh, robust energy with this is going to stay well to our north and west, but it's going to provide that risk for severe weather for the central and southern plains today. There's that upper low. It kind of goes in that same direction towards the Great Lakes over the next few days. A much weaker trough associated with this comes in our direction Monday, Tuesday. That gives us a chance for some scattered showers and storms here locally Monday, Tuesday, and that's really it. This weekend, great weather, plenty of sun today, scattered clouds across the region, and then tomorrow, much of the same, partly cloudy, maybe a stray shower. And then Monday, that's when the showers and storms move in from the west, much weaker, don't really have to worry about anything substantial, but we'll have some scattered rain and storms across the area. Monday during the afternoon hours into the early evening, some steady and soaking downpours are possible. We'll be watching that closely, so rain totals right now, roughly around a half an inch could get up to an inch in a few spots. We'll be watching for maybe some isolated downpours that could lead to some very isolated street flooding in maybe one or two stronger storms, but overall don't have to worry too much about that compared to our neighbors well off to our north and west. Seven day forecast is going to be hot and humid every day. Temperatures in the mid 80s. Best chance for rain and storms really coming Monday, Tuesday.